All right, CAD fans, in this video we're going to talk about dimensioning and notes, which are called multi-leaders, and a little bit more advanced plotting and printing techniques. First I'm going to change this viewport a little bit and move it so it's a little more centered. So I hit move, it asks me to select the object, enter, left click and let's move it over just a little bit like that so it's a little more centered. That looks good. I'll click on it one more time and I'll line it up with my title block border so it kind of hides. And then we're ready to get started. Let's do a new layer. We'll call it dimensioning or dimensions. Dimensions. And I'm going to make it green colored. Index number three and turn it so it's the default and we'll start doing dimensions. So let's do uh, dimension linear. Looks pretty straightforward here. Zoom in and let's do the, the bottom of the foundation wall. So there's one end of a dimension. There's another end of the dimension. I stretch down like this. Left click one more time and there's a quick dimension. Now, if we want to be a little fancier we get into the styles just like we've done before and let's make a new one and we'll call it you know I like I like to do styles here 125 dimension we'll make it all eighth inch and let's see what we got here symbols and arrows I think that's eighth inch text eighth inch that's actually pretty good all the way through what about my units architectural is good Eighth inch round off. Okay, I guess I like most of those defaults. So let's work with that 125 dimension. Uh, I can put in another one then. We'll do the footing, left click, left click, stretch it out, left click again. You can see this isn't too difficult at all. I'll put the uh, thickness of the footing over here. And that looks pretty good. Now let's go and put some of these multi-leader notes on. For example, these two rebars right here. Well, we'll start by doing one and then I'll add the other one. I left click one more time and it prompts me, okay, this is going to be two uh, number fives continuous. And in this case, I'm going to have to just click out from beyond it, and then it puts it in there. That looks a little big, doesn't it? So let's do the same thing with our uh, multi-leader style. Make a new one. I'll call it 125 notes. Continue. See what we got for our stuff here. Break size eighth. Let's make this eighth. Leader structure. Okay. Content text style. I'll switch to 125. So you see these styles to start interrelating. Hit OK. Make that current. Hit close. And then if I want to apply that style to the note I already made, I go to Modify Properties. Click on that one. I'm trying to get that one. That one right there. And then someplace here is the style. That one there. Oh, here it is. Multi-leader style right there. And you can see how it changed right that, just like that. If you don't want to keep closing it, you can set this thing on auto-hide. It may pop up on my screen a lot more often then. In this case, we, we have two, actually, right? We've got two arrow so you can I gotta find that other rebar there it is so I could just start another one left click there then hit the escape key to cancel out of the rest of it and now it shows two number fives continuous looking right at those two rebars so let's do it again dimension multi-leader this time I'm going to do these rebars I just left click there, kind of line it up out where that one is, and type in number fives at 18 inches on center, on center, 
each base. And this is a multi-line, so I can just keep hitting enter and it'll keep going down. It won't go out like the single line we've been doing, so I just have to left click out of it. And there it is. Let's make sure that's the same style. And we should be able to just left click on it. Modify properties, that pops out. Yep, it is. So that's good. We want to put a second leader on that now. I'm not sure how to do this on the Mac, but if you go to the annotate group uh, in Windows and do the add leader thing, we can hook right to this. I just clicked once and I'll move another line over to the other rebar and hit enter and that's that. I've got two lines going to that. That looks pretty good. I'll finish that up later. The other thing we want to put on this drawing is, is the uh, detail label. So let's uh, start with a circle. Draw a circle. Center 80 should be fine. I guess right about there looks pretty good. So I just put in quarter inch for diameter radius. There it is. And we'll draw a line to work with that. I'm going to shift, right click, and use the quadrant snap. I can hook right to the side of that circle. Go over three and a half inches at an angle of zero. That didn't work, did it? Placing some concrete for a wind tower foundation in Roxbury, Maine. There's trucks all lined up and ready to go. Alright, let's try that again. My dynamic input was turned off. That's this button down here. So let's take it from the top. Line, shift right click, quadrant, which is off your screen, sorry. Left click and go over three and a half inches. And that should do it right there. In order to get out of that. Now let's put some text on it. We'll do single line text. Middle center, MC, go to the center of the circle, left click, zero angle, type the number four. Hit enter a couple of times. Because so I'm doing detail number four. Now I gotta put in some text here. Let's do it again. I probably should hit the space bar. MC. We're starting in the middle of the line. I'll go up just a little bit. Probably about a quarter inch should be good. Right there. Zero. And go this caps lock section at foundation wall. Do the same thing with the scale underneath, and I should be in pretty good shape. MC, start in the middle, down about a quarter of an inch, left click, scale, whoops, zero, scale, half inch equals one foot, and it's looking pretty good there. I think I'll finish the rest of this up while you take a break. Well, there, while you were on break, I finished putting in the notes and stuff, and we're ready to plot. Although I think I'll save plotting for the next video, so stay tuned.